Knock, knock. All right, all right. Who's there? Who's there? Rape joke. Rape joke who? Rape joke? Rape joke who? Rape joke who's not fucking funny. Wow, that joke was so poor in taste, and I don't even have taste buds. <laughs> uh, uh, I cracked myself up. Like, seriously, you girls should totally not do stand-up comedy. Ever. I have voices in my head, they count for me, they understand. Don't worry, we're, we're good, good victims. victims. We won't cry too loud or demand your attention or ask for trigger warning. Men like to use the excuse, boys get raped too, when they hear women talking about their personal experiences. Jeez, it's almost as if men have actually faced these experiences and they have a story to tell. I mean, it's not like us men are humans or anything. First, boys get raped should be its own sentence. If you're only acknowledging their trauma to silence female survivors, then you're a scumbag. Well, no one is saying that men get raped, therefore you should shut the fuck up. I mean, if anything, you're doing what you're accusing us men are doing is what you're doing to men. You know, just shut up about your personal experiences of being raped. Second, all the male survivors we know would kick your teeth in for saying that. I would like to see them try. And your friends who aren't survivors can't sympathize with you until they know all the gory details. Please, get your porn somewhere else. And once you do get their sympathy, it sounds like someone cat called me once, so I totally get it. Someone stepped on my foot last week. It, it was, was a man. man. I, I just, just felt, felt so invaded. invaded. Oh, we should just listen to your stories and your stories alone, and we should n tr never try to sympathize with you? Is, is this what you're trying to say? And to the boys who write poems. To raped girls. Don't worry. There's good men out Go there. The light poet. at the end of such a dark tunnel. They'll hold your hand in court and everything. Thank, Thank God I'll get some thoughtful dick someday. You know those poets will tell you. Violets are growing in the shadows under your eyes. They're not violets. It's skin. I know it's skin. It's good skin. It's gonna be skin regardless of what metaphors you attach to it. So, in other words, how dare men be nice and act all poetic? Yeah. You'll be there when I cry. Until my eyes get puffy and red. You, you won't, won't be tearing, tearing off my lace, lace panties. panties. Because they were expensive and they make me feel like I'm worth something. Once, Once you figure out that the only time I deep throat is with a feeding tube, tube at the psych ward, you'll be gone. In other words, it doesn't matter if a man tries to comfort you. To you, he's just a fucking pillow. You know, he's not a human being who want, who understands your feelings. He's just a pillow that you cry on. Fuck you. And if you do want a healing relationship, how do you talk about it when the language is rooting against you? Hey, wanna bang? Screw! Nail me? Everything is so violent! Are you kidding me? Women use these terms all the fucking time. For example, I want to be penetrated. I want to ride your horse cock. I, I, I want to be fucked hard. You know, those, ex those kind of examples, okay? It's not like when a man just listens to a woman and, and you just when the story ends, he's just like, that's a very interesting story. Can you give me a blowjob now? Because that, that's apparently how it works. Look, if I was starting to date a woman and, you know, she was hurt, I wouldn't rush her to have sex with me. I would approach her calmly, treat her, you know, like a normal person and do everything in my power to make her happy. I mean, it's the right thing to do. And that's what most men tend to do in a relationship like that. They want to help a woman, not get in bed with them in a matter of seconds. How to flirt with a rape survivor. Approach slowly and cautiously. Do not make any sudden movements or loud noises. Hey baby, I've got anxiety, depression, PTSD, and crushing sexual insecurity. You wanna come back to my place and hold my hair while I vomit? Because somehow men have the psychic power to know who's a rape survivor and who isn't? Like, what? Is there like a t-shirt that says, I'm a rape survivor? 
Because, you know, I doubt that any woman is going to be wearing that. It's not fucking obvious. And then there's feminists who feel entitled to our poetry and narratives because, as they say, under the patriarchy, like, all women are constantly threatened by rape. <laughs> Do go on. What does that make us? Hold on, Belissa. I'm turning into a statistic! Holy pepper spray, Batman! I can only see in binary! The ones look like penises! Quick, Anne, you've got to pull it together for slot walk! You know, the funny thing is that I agree with you, except that you girls are just as narcissistic as the feminists. I mean, I congratulate you for not being feminist, or at least I assume that you're not feminist. Uh, but your entire poetry is all about, you know, rape jokes and rape survivors. Truly, nothing helps rape survivors of all gender, ethnicity, and economic level than rich white girls walking around half naked while collaborating with the police. Because the cops historically are so good at supporting, supporting victims, victims and, and catching rapists. rapists. Getting real tired of slut walk slogans too. Don't, Don't slut shame me. me. How about do not refer to me as a slut ever. I can call you whatever the fuck I want. I can call you bitch, cunt, and of course, a slut. Real men don't rape? Oh shit, must have been a ghost then. I doubt you even know what rape is. I have many doubts that you ever been raped. Consent is sexy? Lingerie is sexy. Consent is a basic human right. You guys are supposed to be the adults we look up to, but we went through our moon goddess phase in seventh grade. I think your moon goddess phase has made you more into a fucking narcissist. Humor helps trauma. We just want to know that you're laughing with us. We can joke about it because it's ours to joke about. Do you not know what ghetto humors is? Because you feminist, I mean, you're not feminist. No, no, you're not. Sorry. Uh, women. Do you not know what gal humors is? Because we laugh at dark things at times. We laugh at rape jokes. We laugh at uh, molestation jokes. We laugh at um, crime, death. These are things that is unacceptable in society and yet we joke about them because it's funny we have a dark sense of humor and if you do not have a sense of humor like that then it's fine but don't dictate on what kind of jokes that people should be making similar to how our bruises are ours to poke at and yours to keep away from in other words, as long as you're the ones making a joke, it's funny! Fucking asshole.